Hello shoalmates and thank you for tuning in. Today I'd like to show you how to hatch some mystery snail eggs. And these guys are ready to go. So let's get into it. So today we will be hatching mystery snail eggs. Now this clutch has been incubating in this little incubator that I made for 11 days now. It was laid by a wild mystery snail, a wild color mystery snail. So that's brown shell, black foot. And these babies are ready to hatch. So let me see if I can get you in for a little bit of a closer look on these guys. So I can show you the signs that these guys are ready to go. I know it just got a little bright there, but you see all these fine little bubbles right here? That's telltale signs that these guys are all amassing in the center, ready to hatch out. Now when the clutch is first laid, it'll look like this color. It'll be very firm, pink coloration, hard to the touch. Um, you want to leave it in place for at least 48 hours before you remove your eggs so that they're firm enough to remove. And you want to incubate them in something like this to keep the proper humidity, which is about 80%. That's what I like to keep my eggs at, and they hatch out in 10 to 11 days. And you keep a wet piece of paper in here. I change this out every two days. I keep them on a little piece of mesh screen. And then when they're ready to hatch, I just take out the mesh screen and hatch them. So as you can see here, they're getting very gray, almost moldy looking, but it's not mold. They are just descending from their little, little egg encasings into the center and they form a big massive pile and then they'll make their great escape. And normally if you were to leave this in place in your aquarium, if it is humid enough, you'll see them just drip drop down into the water. If not, you'll have to take them out of here and hatch them yourself. So that's what we'll be doing today. And as you can see, they're so close. And when you can tell that they're ready to go, when you touch the casing ever so gently, and it's squishy. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it is very squishy. So these guys are ready to go. So let me get our ingredients that we need, and we will get going on this. To hatch your mystery snail eggs, you will need, of course, your mystery snail eggs, um, some aquarium water. So this is water right from the aquarium that these guys were floated on to incubate and whatever starter foods that you'd like to start your mystery snails on because they do need to be fed immediately. I like to feed mine immediately little crumbles of the crayfish empire, empire snail cookie pellets and I also like to occasionally dust their beginner cup with um, some shrimp dinnerly powder, the baby food, because this gives them a really good biofilm. I, I like to leave them in this cup for the first couple of days, changing their water every day keeping a very close eye on them when they first hatch out to make sure that everyone's good, everyone's getting fed the proper amount. And then at day four, I move them on to a two and a half gallon so I can still keep a close eye on them, make sure everyone's eating and everyone's well. So this is what I start them out with. So I will take a little bit of the shrimp dinnerly powder and you just need a very, very tiny little bit. Let me see if I can actually show you guys what it looks like in there. It's a very, very fine powder. See? <laughs> and you don't need that much. That is literally like food for all the shrimp in the house for a month. You just need a very tiny pinch. This isn't a necessity, but I find that this is a good biofilm starter just to give the babies a little bit better chance um, of survival because you can have a high die-off rate with fresh hatched mystery snails. So you want to make sure all your parameters are on point, all they have plenty of access to food because they are constant little tiny hungry mouths and they must always be fed. So I put in the little shrimp dinnerly and mix it in with my finger. And then I already have an open bag of the snail cookie pellets to my left. So I will take just a little bit of the powder from the bottom of the bag and I will sprinkle it in here as well. Just to make sure the babies have enough food to start. They typically will eat their egg casing. I leave that in there for them. But I also like to add just a little bit more food to make sure that they get the best start possible. So once you have your water all set up, and I'll move this out of the way for now, um, have your water all set up, you take your egg clutch out of the container, a little better focus for you guys, out of the container, just off the little mesh. You can leave it on the mesh until you actually get it in the water. I like this mesh to do the eggs on the mesh better um, because I find that they get better aeration 
and that the eggs underneath the clutch are more likely to hatch this way and then just putting them on a solid piece of plastic. I'm sorry that took forever to focus, but there's our precious little babies, our little snapies about to make their grand entrance into the world. There they are, precious little ones. It's about to be your birthday, guys, and look at that, a smile. They're happy. <laughs> so we take our, our aquarium water. Let's see if I can get a better focus. There we go. And you take your eggs and take them right off. They're going to be super squishy. And just loosen them from the mesh net right into the water. And then immediately you got to start breaking the snail clutch up. And gently, very, very, very gently. Let's see if you can see the babies fall. There they are. And here personally on the compound, I like to sing happy birthday to all of our babies. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Snabies. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> many, many long years for you guys. Okay, so here's the general breakup of the clutch. Most of the babies are out and on the bottom a mast, but you want to go back through the clutch to all the pieces and make sure that you have no babies trapped in the clutch casing still. Um, sometimes they need help getting out. If they're stuck in the clutch in the water, they can drown. So make sure all the babies are out and they are all out. Oh my goodness. And we have newborn baby mystery snails. Bear with me one moment, guys, and I'll get a better close-up view for you guys. And here we are with our freshly hatched baby mystery snails. Look at them go already taking their first little crawls. Some of them are very good at crawling immediately out of the egg. Some can be a little sloppy, <laughs> but they get better as they get older. I put them on this grid paper so you guys can see actually how small they are when they hatch. They are so tiny, but they grow ever so very fast and they start eating immediately. That's why this food source is important as you see this floating bit of egg casing. And there's a little bit of the um, snail or crayfish empire snail cookie pellets floating around and there's just a tiny dusting of the Dunnerly um, Shrimp King baby powder as well. So these guys are all set for day number one in the in the world and uh, Tomorrow they will get a water change and a refeeding and I will do this up until day four when they are moved up to a two and a half gallon to start their little snaily lives so thank you all so very much for tuning in today and taking the time to learn how to properly and safely hatch mystery snail clutch. And I hope that you guys have a whirl of a day. Love you all. Bye.